Welcome to part 3. Here we're going to color the points using a texture map. Earlier you added a color attribute to the points which affected the coloring of the bricks. Instead of using a single color you are now going to use a texture map to create a more interesting look for the bricks. This will involve some special nodes to turn the texture into point colors. So let's just before we move forward let's switch this back to the the, the rubber toy because we're going to be looking at that a little more closely right now we're now going to set the display flag on the the actual original node we brought in and we're going to turn off add shader we don't really need that and we don't need to see the textures so we're going to turn that off now if with this node selected this is actually a digital asset and so we're going to go in and say edit properties test geometry rubber toy and in here you'll find a low res JPEG and what we're going to do is we're going to save that into our texture directory and press accept and then we just cancel that we don't need that right now now in the network editor we're going to go in and we're going to go tab and we're going to do something with a VOP so we want to get an attribute VOP we're going to put that here and we're going to feed the match size into the first input there so we set the display flag on this. There's the geometry. It's sort of sitting up there. In the parameter pane, we're going to uh, look at this and go run over vertices because it'll be vertexes that actually contain uh, the color information. And then we'll have to turn that into point information later on. So let's dive into here. We're going to tab a, and add a texture node. And we're going to feed the color into CD. And you see the texture showing up there. We're going to tab UV coordinates. And we're going to bring those and we're going to feed that into there. So that sets this up so that we can take the, the color information on the UV coordinates, uh, get the texture, and put that into the geometry. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to select this node and right beside texture map we want to go gear promote parameter and what that means if we go one level up it's going to be there so that's perfect now it's got this weird name there so let's go back down into here uh, click on the little nub and we're going to change that label to texture map there we go and if we go back up one level, you'll see now it says texture map. And it's got the default uh, an image. We're going to replace that in a minute, uh, but we'll keep it there for now. Now let's right click on here and we're going to go promote. We're going to do attribute promote. And if we set the display flag on here, what we're going to do is we're going to go CD that's coming from color and we're going to go from vertex to points now we're going to add in an attribute transfer so we've got attribute transfer we're going to put that down we're going to put points from volume into the first and attribute promote into the second set the display flag on this point attribute here we want to get color. So now we're going to take a switch node and we're going to place that down here and we're going to wire the attribute transfer into it. We're going to add the color into it and then we're going to do attribute transfer. And we're going to set the switch to one for now so that it's actually using the uh, attribute colors coming from here. And now we can copy this into copy to points and set the display flag. So there we go. We see the mandrel coming in. So if we go back to our attribute VOP here, uh, we can click on here, go to our texture folder and get our low res JPEG. And now you see that we've got the uh, points going there. So if we had, um, if we gone back to here, uh, that new texture map is coloring the points the vertexes which is coloring the points which is now coming in and coloring this and we can still switch back if we want to go to red we want to go back to the texture map uh, we have that option so those two things are there so 
that's that's the, the the next step in what we're doing in terms of getting information from all the bits and pieces and feeding that into the system. So it's quite nice here.